What's up, motherfuckers? This is DJ Gons. I'm gonna show you how to make a clean edit using Serato Flip. Let's go, motherfuckers. All right, so we are in Serato Pro. First things first, make sure you get Serato Flip. It's gonna be in the expansion once you purchase it. There is gonna be a Black Friday deal on it. So right now is the best time to get it before that sale will be over. So where you go to, again, expansion pack, Serato Flip, make sure you activate it. Then it's gonna show up as this icon up, up at the top. So you click on it and you're gonna be like, where the hell is it? It's this little section right here. So I'm gonna play you this song. I'm gonna play you the dirty version of it. So if you got earmuffs, put them on. If not, this is what we're here for to make a clean edit of this. So here we go. <laughs> So what you'll do is you're going to go through the track and you're going to find any of the expletives. There's one there. There's another one there. There's another one there. One there. One there. <laughs> another one there. So you get the idea. So what Serato Flip does is it'll record any cue point changes that you do. So if you hit cue point one, two, three, four in a certain rhythm or you just hit them repeatedly, this saves it and it saves it as a flip. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually record the sensor button. So sometimes you'll have the sensor button on your controller and on the software, it's this right here. So the key command for that, if you ever get lost, do show tool tips. Oh, my bad. Actually, um, yeah, it is that. There we go. And it's right here. Sensor, it's going to be for your left deck is the letter U. Now it's going all haywire on me. There we go. It's going to be the... The U on your keyboard, if it's on the right deck, it's going to be the J. Okay, so I'm going to go back. And I can't immediately just start hitting the sensor button because um, it's not going to play the track how I want it to. So that's why I'm going to set a cue point of where I actually want the song to start when I'm like mixing it in. Okay, let's right there. I'll set a cue here. And I'm going to find the, the curse words. There's one there. There's one there. Right there. One there. Whoa there, Golden. The fuck the fuck right there. So since I'm on, uh, I don't have my controller with me. I'm just doing all just offline mode, so to speak. I'm going to click it here. Right there too. And I'll just do one more for kick. So you wanted it squeaky clean. I'm gonna take that off too, right there. So now, what you would do is, you would label them just so you know if you needed to. So you, I mean, you can literally type in the sensor, highlight it, copy, and then just paste. If you wanted to do that, just just saying, and then that's your start, right there. So now we have what we what we need to censor for it. So now you would hit the record button. It's not active 
until you hit your first cue point. That's why it's still flashing. The minute I hit cue point one, it's going to start. So I can go move this around all I want. See how it's not recording? Even hit play, it's not going to record. Up until I actually hit this cue right here. So I'm just going to hit it right now and you're going to see that light up. See how it lit up right there? Now, I don't have to wait to start trying to do move this over in regards to the way it records. So hit the letter U there. Let me go again. There we go. So we stop that, hit save. Now it saved that as a flip right here. And that flip is here. Right now it has it where it's gonna just loop this here. So you can go in there, type in clean edit right there. So now I can take this off and I'm just gonna hit play on here. I got, or I mean, I got the cue set up there. Now when it goes through, you're gonna see when it gets to this cue point too, right there, you're gonna see it shift. See I was making a clean edit for you? Now, of course, we didn't finish the rest, but that would be the process of making a clean edit. So say you had all those done, um, you can hit record and continue on with that. So once you have that done, it saves it in there for you. So now you don't have to worry about it. Um, you don't have to go to Ableton, make a completely new file and redo it. You can just do it all in here, which I think is awesome. And again, um, you have to make sure that you have flip on when you load the song again, um, because if not, your flip's not going to show up. But again, I would label it clean edit and make sure you have the loop off. So if you wanted to play all the way through the song, you can. So that's how you make clean edits using Serato Flip. This is Gons. Peace.